What's up guys? It's your favorite Pirate Pocket. Today, we have an emergency edition of the weekend. That's right, emergency edition. I found some content on Sage that just cannot wait to be shown, and I want to show you guys. So let's look at it together. We're going to go ahead and start with content that is very similar to things that we've already seen and progressed towards some really impressive stuff. This is an image of Gallia in Sage that is close, if not identical, to what we've seen before. One of the things that I believe I've noticed is the amount of ships and action that is going on in this map. If we take a look at the Oni region, we can see that there's a whole lot going on. It looks like we possibly have some titans around planets and massive space stations being built. These little dots that are around the planets are either moons or could potentially be ship movements on and off planet. This picture was released today on Twitter, and based on the icons in the lower left hand corner and the fact that we have the stat bars for the players actively moving instead of just being full, really lead me to believe that this is current gameplay of Sage, or at least very recent gameplay. The only issue I have concerning this map from a development standpoint is that I do not see any stars located in any of these areas. But I also know that the orbs that I see on the screen will be modified using the planetary creation system that we've seen leaked in the last few weeks. When we look at the region that is specific to the MUD faction, I really wonder if that is the size of the MUD Central Space Station. Because if it is, it's no wonder that these are safe zones. It would take all the ammunition in all of Gallia to take one of these things down. When we look at another post from Siggy on Twitter, we can see a whole lot more detail. We are looking at the MUD Central Space Station, which is a spaceship that was created using the last piece of Earth because humans destroyed it all just to get into space. Again, this photo shows us the same game icons in the lower right and also shows the spaces that they have left to insert the real names of the ships and the real names of our fleets. So whoever was playing when this picture was taken had been playing for quite a while based on their level. I'm not going to comment on the number, you can if you want. <clears throat> we have seen this type of image quite a bit and so we're going to go ahead and move on. This gameplay screenshot I found appears to be a little more modern and we have a battle going on around an Oni uh, space station. You can see that we have an X6, my favorite ship, the Ambui. Um, we also have an Ogrica Mick and what appears to be a Bombarella. Oh, can't forget about the Calico Guardian. It's in the fight as well. But I can't wait to see the Discord light up with conversations about people talking about their battles and how the Oosters won the day. If we could see a little bit of damage done to that space station, that'd be kind of neat because I would like to see if there's a degradation of our ships at ships and stations as they take damage. The image I found while I was scouring Twitter was that of the Oni Central Space Station. This is one we've seen quite often and the space station has an interior that's under construction and it's been shown off all the time on Star Atlas's Twitter and on YouTube and pretty much everywhere you look. But just so you know, that is an entire city within that dome. A whole city. That structure is massive. You can also see what appears to be an em empire manager on the right hand side. I say empire because it also has structures, planets, and fleets in it. So it's kind of like your, this is my area. The thing that I find fascinating about this picture is that they felt the need to crop out in order to keep some content hidden. Maybe I'm just overanalyzing it, but this is a structure that we're all familiar with. This is where those who are who are Oni will start out when UE5 launches the ability to use our habitats. And now we're moving on to some really cool stuff. I've never seen this type of screen before, and this is what really excited me about today. Unfortunately, this player is an Oni, or at least at the Oni Central Space Station, so he might have a passport. But we can see that there's an option to undock from the space station in the upper right. 
as well as we could see the ability to access our hangar inventory and the items that we were crafting on the left. We see the same type of an insurance system that is present in Star Citizen by the ability to import ships to a particular space station. That can be seen in the lower left. I'm not quite sure what the symbols on the right hand side are for, but I look forward to finding out. One of them might be for travel, one might be for repair, and one might be for warping. But I've never played these types of games, though I've also considered getting into EVE Online. The closest thing I've played is Star Citizen, and the gameplay here is nothing like Sage, that's more of the UE5 model. But I am very excited to learn and to become the best I can be at it. The next image that we have appears to be an extension of the last one where a player clicked something and moved into just a new window. This player is accessing their current inventory and you can clearly see that none of these are Pierce 4 bikes. I think they're onto my plan though. They're listing the F4 in this image as rare. And by the time I'm done with them, they will be. They have a very user friendly setup and I greatly appreciate that. But it is a little disappointing that not everything is ready to go. Sadly, not much of the user interface has changed in recent weeks. It seems they're always using placeholders for inventory items and images instead of it feeling like the game is ready to roll out. I was really hoping for a Q1 launch, I know a pipe dream, but then at least expecting an early Q2 launch and right now I think we're looking at late Q2, but I really hope I'm wrong. I know there is a filter that these content releases go through in order to get to us, and so we may not have the newest images and versions, but man, I'm just excited to get to play this game, and so trying to be patient is very difficult for me, although this game definitely seems like it's going to be worth the wait. Last image we have guys is amazing, it is the Ooster Central Space Station. And I could tell it is the Ooster Central Space Station because if you were to look at this image from the top, it would match the Ooster icon. And that's kind of how you could tell what the Central Space Stations look like. And this thing looks complex as all get out, but you know, we're androids, we just build it better. So I think this is cool, it looks like it may transform to protect itself or to take shape of something else, and I think that might be a really neat feature if they include it. But it is very poetic that the space station for the androids looks like a flower, especially since by this day and time the Oosters as far as they know, are only a few hundred years old. They're in <clears throat> That's their entire race is only a few hundred years old. But it looks like we have a lot of ships coming and going, which, you know, is a pretty good thing. We like to do business, but... Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of this content that I found, and if you think that I may have gotten anything wrong in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions, and if you think Sage will be released early Q2 or late Q2. As always, thank you guys for your support and any contributions are greatly appreciated. Don't forget to check out my last video for your chance to win an X4, which is currently flyable in the showroom right now. And if I'm ever lucky enough for the Metaverse Explorer to watch my video, I think we ought to have a ship burning party. That being said guys, I'll see you in the next one.